Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to use knife cutting in Sigma Nest. After you have a part on your nest, auto NC. Depending on what tools you have set up in your post will determine what gets shown in this list. Let's use our pizza cutter tool first. Next, after you have NC on your nest, go to the knife icon. A menu will appear with a few settings. These settings should be set up and pre-configured inside your knife machine post. If not, you may need to enter them in manually. First, let's decide how to cut our nest. We can cut by contours, which will cut all light contours before moving on to the next contour. Cut by part, we'll cut each part out completely before moving on to the next part. By nest, we'll default to the normal NC path Sigma Nest generates. Process by area will allow the knife cutting tool to cut entire areas before changing tools. Let's go ahead and set up some more parameters for the pizza wheel. Let's go ahead and enter in an overlap for our cutter. Keep in mind I am using metric measurements, not imperial. The overlap will allow Sigma Nest to prevent the pizza wheel from cutting into other parts that are nested close by. Let's add two cutting passes. Click on the manual checkbox to edit these parameters. When you're finished, click OK and simulate. Let's go through one more example. Clear the NC and reapply. But this time, let's use our knife cutback tool. We are going to do a cutback move. Go back to the knife parameters and go to the knife cutback tab. Let's keep all the default settings, but let's apply an overlap. Then click OK. Now simulate. You can see we're now getting our cutbacks. You can also see that applying the same values to different tools can yield different results. This is because of the tool you have set up in your post. That's all there is to it.